What's up today guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to show you guys some replays from our last classic war with Dark Knights where we picked up the victory. We had 10 total triples in a 15 man war so we got 40 stars and when you get 40 stars in a 15 man war it is really hard to lose. But we're going to cover 7 of the attacks today showing you guys the biggest triples that we had that helped us pick up this victory during this war. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright, on this first attack, we got Eek coming in with his Mass Dragons. Uh, I consider this one a little Mass Dragon instead of Hydra. We do have four Dragon Riders, but we're using ten Dragons. Six total free spells and four rages for this main army. So it's really, it is a Hydra. And we just got these dragons and dragon riders just going to push through this base. We're going to start right at the 6 o'clock apartment. And just push up through. And they're going to split off in a V. And pick up all the surrounding buildings as we push through into the core of this base. We get a perfectly timed warden ability as that blimp basically gets out of the circle. Got the queen working over at... Uh, 9 o'clock and then the main army kind of funneling off into different areas and then we got the Yeti bomb for the town hall so that's going to go down very very quickly which is huge uh, we don't have a poison for the CC we don't even care about that we're just going to let this army just do the job for us got all the dragons over on the right side of the base working uh, going to drop that rage probably a little early we should have saved that rage for when we got up towards the top side of this base but we're gonna pop that queen ability as well and just help push through some of this stuff but there's there's no big no big defenses left up here I mean you got a couple archer towers a couple wizard towers one expo that is about all you have left um, on the defensive side but we still have five or six dragons alive Still got the warden still got the owl still got the queen and we're gonna finish off this base very easily in a three-star fashion for eat for the Dark Knights. Beautiful attack. Nice planning. Nice execution. Alright, this next replay, we got my man KRS coming in with his Hydra. Um, three clone Hydra, actually, with three freezes and one rage spell. Um, so we're going to start the main army off at this 2 o'clock uh, compartment. And got the queen working down from 3 to 6, and then the E-Dragon to funnel... And we got the blimp selected. Now, he had a wall wrecker selected for a second. I got a little nervous there. Wasn't sure if he was going to actually use the wall wrecker by accident. But we got the blimp coming down. RC right behind the blimp to push into this base. And we got three freezes to work with and this rage for the clone. We find a early tornado trap, which is actually nice because now we don't have to worry about it uh, for this town hall. You could pop this blimp a little early and pick up a lot of value. Going to get the sweep and a lot of balloons going to come off on that sweep because we had a clone set up there he actually anticipated that sweep perfectly set that clone up there and he was able to pick up a lot of extra value now the only compartment that left really is that multi uh with the wizard tower tesla farm up top we got the single uh inferno down here but we still got a ton of dragons still got the king alive he's gonna tank this single inferno for a while because it takes a forever to take down the the barbarian king even if you're a single inferno tower and this is just going to be easy cleanup from here. Hardly any defenses left. Well, we got we got the Tesla farm, the Wizard Tower, and the uh, the multi-target Inferno. But from here, we're just gonna we're gonna plow through the rest of this base pretty easily. These dragons are just gonna burn down all these buildings quickly, and then the Queen and the Warden are gonna finish everything off beautifully. Nice plan by KRS. Nice timing on the clone spells, knowing he didn't have to deal with the tornado trap, knowing that that uh, air sweeper was going to blow some of those balloons uh, past the town hall, and he picked up some extra value with that third clone spell. All right, this next attack, we got Tidal Town coming in with his Mass Dragon attack uh, with a blizzard, I think. We got five invisibility spells, so possibly a blizzard here. Um, we had to switch over to a blimp because we had a siege barracks selected. So luckily we noticed that. So we got this blizzard coming in real early on this town hall compartment. We're going to pick up that single target inferno. We're going to get this town hall down 
We're going to hopefully get down the enemy queen and the RC. That would be insane value if we picked up all of that. Uh, hopefully, we could just get down the town hall. We're going to get the queen. We're going to get the RC. Luckily, he brought five invisibilities because we're going to get this town hall as well. Insane value off that blizzard. We picked up the town hall, a bunch of uh, buildings and defenses, and then the queen and the enemy RC. That's just insane value. And now we got uh, the Sui action, I'm going to assume, with the king and the queen and possibly the RC. And then we're going to work in with these mass dragons. Uh, we're just going to go straight for the dragons. We're going to get these balloons down in front, and we're going to drop these dragons and just let them fly and get this warden down with them as well. And we're, we're just going to use the king and the queen to actually funnel up top, which is a great plan. Get these dragons going all the way up to that eagle artillery compartment. Because there's nothing left on the south side, so hopefully they don't get distracted by that one expo. But we're going to beautifully pop that warden ability through the eagle artillery blast. And he's going to keep all these dragons at max health, which is just absolutely insane. This is looking absolutely smashed already. We freeze down that backside scatter shot. We're going to pick up this eagle artillery. And we're just going to continue to push through this. We got a couple dragons working on the Barbarian King down there. But we got this scatter shot in that single artillery and air defense on the backside. But other than that, this base is just crushed. We still got the Queen ability, still got the RC ability as well. And one more freeze. I'm gonna pop the RC ability here. Pick up great value, got down that air defense, which is insane. Got this uh, single target Inferno also to one shot. Now we just need this one dragon to turn towards the scatter shot. And we'll be all good from here. Still got the queen working with all these dragons as well. Scatter shot, I think, was damaged a little bit. We're going to actually just finish on the scatter shot. But from here with the queen ability, this is just absolutely crushed. Easy three star from title. Beautiful blizzard value. Huge value coming off of that. And then obviously the, the mass dragons, they go through and they crush bases as well. But nice triple by Tidal Town. All right, this next attack we got Rio coming in with his Queen Charge Yeti Bowler Smash. We got four Rages on this attack, a couple Golems to get in front of that main army, and then we got the Log Launcher to help push us through this whole base. And the four Rages are going to be a big part. And then we got three Freezes and one Heal Spell uh, for the main army as well. But we're going to use a lot of these Rages on this Queen Charge, hopefully. Keep her topped off. Get her up into this eagle artillery compartment to pick up this eagle. That way we can get a lot of value and a huge funneling uh, for this main army to push through. Um, either the three or the nine side. It kind of just depends on where the queen wants to go from here. Looks like she's going to start going south uh, towards the nine side. So we're going to start the main army over here as well. Maybe we'll get a healer swap. Oh, no. The queen's just going to be stubborn. She's going to go back the other way. But... I hope he wasn't hoping for uh, a healer swap because it ain't going to happen now because the queen's going to be stubborn. Sometimes I... Well, now she's going to go to the middle and actually go up to this multi-target in front of us. So I don't even, Who knows what she wants to do. But we got the whole main army coming down. Got the king funneling on the outside. And then we got a perfect time warden ability. Keep all these bowlers and all these yetis fully topped off. We're going to drop this heal spell down early too because we're going to get through this multi-target infernos and not even worry about losing some of our bowlers early. They're going to fight through the enemy king early as well. Got our royal champion going up on this multi-target inferno, which is perfect. And these bowlers are smashing through. And they got a decent amount of damage on this town hall already. But we got plenty of yetis and the barbarian king pushing through there. So we're not even going to worry about this town hall going down. And we got this single artillery, go or single inferno goes down extremely quickly as well. And this just absolutely smashed at this point. So they got the queen alive. So I got Bowers working on the outside as cleanup. We're going to lose a lot of these Yetis, but they're going to pick up some defenses on their way out with these Yeti Mites, which is huge. And the Queen's going to be able to finish off this attack with no problem at all. Archer Tower goes down. This Mortar's also going to go down from these Yeti Mites. And Queen's just going to finish this off. Uh, just, just a matter of time, which time wasn't really an issue. As you can see, the Bowers still on the outside picking up two defenses at once. 
Queen's just gonna have to go get this clan castle, and this base just absolutely smashed. Nice attack by Rio. Nice plan. Beautiful queen charge. She lived through the whole attack. That's probably the most important part about a queen charge. If you can get that queen to live through the whole attack, uh, it, your percentage of tripling goes way up. All right, on this next attack, we got Thanos coming in with a zap Hydra. Uh, as you can see, we brought those two zaps just to get down that air sweeper. And then we also got two healers. I'm assuming we're going to put that on the queen. Just to keep her pushing through the base. We got two uh, super wall breakers as well. Uh, to kind of open up more compartments for her. Which there are kind of some walls open. So she's got places like that one right there. She's definitely got areas where she can walk through. Got a dragon that's going to funnel. Probably going to have to use her ability somewhat soon. Going to get down that expo though and this air defense which is great. King's going to fight through that single inferno. Push to the enemy king. Hopefully he can get him down. That would be huge. Got the main army working through that funnel. Blimp's going to drop on top of this town hall. We got a yeti bomb inside there. Easy cleanup on that town hall. Find this tornado trap with just one dragon rider, which is awesome. Always love when that happens. Only one troop in, a, in the tornado trap. We still got a rage and another freeze for this back half. Gonna drop that rage down, get these. Oh, that was actually not the rage. We're gonna drop the rage down now and get these troops pushing through some of these defenses out here. Queen is actually gonna step up through this wall and get this eagle. Which was huge value because that eagle destroyed a lot of our army. That eagle stayed alive way longer than Thanos wanted. We're going to freeze this expo. We're going to hang on to the freeze for the dragons. Queen's going to get the expo. Get that air defense too? She will get the air defense right before she goes down. Which is huge. Because now we just have the two uh, archer towers and this one wizard tower that we have to worry about. And we should be able to clean this up. Yeah, we got the unicorn over here helping the dragons as well. And from here, these dragons are going to be able to clean up, clean up this attack very easily. And the warden. Warden's max health. And we swag to freeze. Nice attack by Thanos. Beautiful funnel. Great execution. Alright, this next replay, we got your boy, Lord Femmer, coming in with the three clone Hydra on this diamond style teaser base it kind of looks similar to itsu's base but it's flipped the other way but we're gonna attack it just the way we always do opposite side of the town hall push that king and the queen in towards the eagle baby dragon on the other side main army down the middle with the warden rc and the blimp <clears throat> gonna push get this blimp all the way up to the town hall compartment use these three clones and pick up some huge value up there. And then the main army is just going to push through the rest of this base. And we got a lot of value off these clones. RC's still alive. She ends up picking up uh, the rest of the CC in the middle. But we have a lot of this army alive. RC's actually going to help finish off that multi-target inferno as well. Which is just huge. And we're going to get down this air defense, and now it's just clean up from here. So I ended up getting some huge value off my clones, and this main army was just way overwhelming for this base. We absolutely crushed it. Still had four dragons alive, two dragon riders, and three of the heroes alive as well. Alright, on this last attack, we got my man Gage coming in with the Blizzard Lalo on this teaser style base. So right away, we got this everything over in this one compartment. So we're going to get this blimp down with the super wizards. And we're going to pick up as much value as possible over here. And we're going to get a lot of it. We're going to get the town hall. We're going to get multiple defenses. The enemy queen. And almost the enemy RC. We also got the CC pulled. So we got some huge value. We're going to come right behind that. With this Sui. Into this other scatter shot. And other two expos. And this base is already looking crushed. We only got 20% of it gone already and we just started the Sui 
We're going to drop that poison on top of the Ice Golem and King just to finish them off really quickly. Got the King ability coming soon. Fight through these Expos. Got the second wall breaking down for the Queen to step up and get this scatter shot. And the King's going to work up to get that Archer Tower. Queen's going to take down everything else. That Sweeper. And, I mean, look at this base. It's just... Yeah, we got what left over here, but... I don't even know if he would need the Lalo at this point. We could just Royal Champion the rest. But we're going to Royal Champion to help funnel these balloons. And then we're going to have the rest of the army come in over here on the right side. And But we didn't even have to use a Lava Hound for the initial push with the, with the blimp. So we have three Lava Hounds in front of this army. And when you can have three Lava Hounds in front of your balloons, that is a good time. Because your balloons don't get touched ever and we got a warden ability with 95 loons in it and we're swagging we're swagging spells left and right we didn't even need these haste spells gauge just absolutely smashed this base this was like almost a lot of cleanup and we're gonna swag these spells and make a little happy face in the middle um just absolutely destroyed this base it Man, look at all that's left. He, I don't think he lost one balloon in that attack. That was just absolutely insane. Beautiful plan on that teaser base by Gage. That just shows you how strong Blizzard Lalo is against these teaser bases. It's almost self-explanatory. You can absolutely crush these bases without even trying almost. And 9 times out of 10, it almost looks like Lalo cleanup because... Your Blizzard and your Sui with the heroes take out so much before you actually put down the balloons. You literally, like, it's it's really hard to, to do this attack bad on teaser bases. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content as always. Appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel. Had a sweet video for you guys today showing you guys those seven triples from our last war and Dark Knights. And all the biggest ones that helped us pick up the victory. If you guys missed yesterday's video, we were using three Clone Hydra in Legends League again. A huge day in Legends League. If you guys liked today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.